Hello and welcome to episode 36 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now the last episode wasn't the best, wasn't the best. We were dropped for a game, we had the uh, suspension, too many yellow cards, and then at the end of the episode we had a very disappointing game against Watford. Gabby wasn't able to do anything. City as a team weren't able to do anything and it was a draw in the end and it could have easily been nil point because we were outplayed the whole way through. But today we need to pick ourselves up and we've got a couple of uh, potential banana skins here. Away from home, a long, long trip to Moscow for the round of 16 clash against CSK. And then a home game back at the Etihad against Stoke City. Actually, that's one we should be winning comfortably. Let's go and take a look at the sides for the first game. Okay, so straight away, once again, we're back with Gabriel Jesus. Yet to do anything with him. I think splitting up Gabi Guerrero is a very bold and stupid move, I would say for sure, from Pep Guardiola. Gabi and uh, Gabri the Gabbies, Gabi squared, just doesn't work. It doesn't seem to work. But I'd be happy to be proved wrong. Got Sterling on the left, Oxley chamberlain on the right. That's okay. No silver, though. Gondowan's in. That's uh, that's good, at least. Uh, up against the CSK Moscow, who have bought Alex Awobi. Excellent signing. And then the rest of their players. Look at that back. That's the most Russian-looking backline in the world. They probably aren't all Russian, but they look very Russian. And uh, any other good players? They've got Zhagoev. He's a decent central midfielder. Other than that, I don't know their strikers. This could be interesting. Away from home, a long trip. Let's see how we get on. So Europa League trophy, that'd be good. I'm sure Pep would be happy with that. Unhappy, I'm sure, to have gone out of the Champions League in the first place. But to come away with some European silverware, I think it would be a, a good result. We don't need it by the looks of it for Champions League qualification. I think that is certain. At the moment, it really is just who's going to win the Premier League. But hey, it would be nice to do well here. But it is a slog, isn't it? We're still only into the round of 16. Two legs in each. Luckily, City have got a very deep squad, so it's not going to be that much of a problem in terms of manpower. And, uh, yeah, as we've said before, Pep loves a cup. And I'm sure he loves a European cup just as much as any domestic one. So uh, he's going to go out and try and win this. Hopefully Gabby can get back in the goals. Nice ball into Gabby. He's got a little pocket of space to work with here, but he reverses it into Jesus. One more, Jesus. Oh, Gabby gets away. Good effort. Great finish. Oh, my word. That is beautiful. And finally, the link-up is there, the two Brazilian boys, just like they're back in the favelas, kicking around a rolled-up ball of cloth. I don't know, they probably didn't have to do that. I'm sure they had footballs and pitches and everything. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was some samba football there. Great link-up. And that finish, low, hard, laser-guided. And, uh, well, maybe against the run of play. It was a great ball to begin with to find Gabby in a bit of space. And then Jesus did well, but that first touch away from the defender was great. And Gabby loves that near post finish. Slots it past Akinfave. And uh, yeah, one goal up here away from home. It's the start we needed. Away goals. Massive in these sort of ties. Yes. Chalov now. Centre forward's made a good run. And he will look for him. Otamendi does not do well there. And that is an equaliser there. And an emphatic one from CSK. Otamendi caught off guard there. No doubt about it. It was a good goal by Olinari. He uh, looks to be a decent finisher. Certainly. You can see the run from miles away. Otamendi must have been aware of him. Splitting Otamendi. And I don't know what John Stones is doing. But Otamendi caught out badly there. That is basic. Could have got anything on that. And he would have prevented that goal. Well, we're back to square one. Olinari. Nice ball out. Saham will get there ahead of Oxlade-Chamberlain. Ball back to Chalov. Keep it moving nicely here. Shnekonov will go for it. Difficult name. Corner here for CSK. They've been uh, they've been strong in this. I think they've been more than a match for us so far. Should go straight into the gloves of Edison, but he can't hold it. It's going to come out now to Nacho. Decent ball into Fernandez. Good touch from him. Back out to Nacho now. Steps away from Stones. Olinari again will header and wide. Danger here though. Big danger. And we're back helping out on this corner. Nacho will take it again. Oh, that's a good header away. And Gabby read it well. And he'll get to this now. Steps away from his man. Now he's going to look to run it down the line. Jesus making a good run to his left-hand side. Gabby slips it in the wrong area, but we could get there and we do. Can we get the ball across? We can into Oxley chamberlain straight into the defender. Great counter-attack there. Covered a lot of ground very quickly. Did the two Gabbies, but we just couldn't finish it off. Gundogan just about finds Gabby, and then Jesus will turn, and Sterling's there, Gabby wants it into the box, he'll take it now, Gabby, straight at the keeper, ah, oh, that's poor, last chance of the half here, Gabby back into Jesus, 
Wants one more. Oh, but Jesus will go for a goal. It's off the bar. Great opportunity there to go ahead just before the end of the half. Jesus looking for his goal in this one. And it's just off the base of the bar and into the floor. It's been a very tight game here in Russia. And we have had more opportunities, but they've uh, they've definitely played their part. Very, very equal so far. Their big centre forward seems to be giving Otamendi a lot of problems. But uh, yeah, Gabby's still looking sharp. I think if we get another opportunity, we will take it. Chalov now brings it forward, slips it down into Alex Iwobi. The ex-Arsenal man will cut back in. That's a dangerous cross to the far post. The big centre forward lurking. Edison manages to punch it out for a corner. Nacho over this one. Oh, Olinari is unmarked in the centre. Maybe unmarked by Gabby there, I'm not sure. And now Otamendi will look to build from the back. Gabby wants it round the corner. That's a great ball. Cuts back inside with the right foot. No. That was rash. That was poor finishing again. Had a couple of good chances now. Lovely short passing. The interplay is on. The ball through the centre is available. Gabby will get it out of his feet. Shoot wide this time. Goes across the keeper. Always going to be difficult from that angle. But it's well worked. Gabby just toying with the defenders. This ball here from Torre is a good one. Gabby had made a good run. Maybe need to cut back inside. Very difficult from that angle. Gabby. Wide to Raheem Sterling. Lovely ball with the outside of the boot. Into Jesus. His first time shot. So close. He needs a goal for confidence. And to prove something to Guardiola. And that was an excellent chance. Gabby kept it moving. This ball was gorgeous. And the finish almost spinning in. Just wide again. We're so close to getting a winner here today. Although this away goal is still a good result. If we can come away with a, a one all. Gabby on the halfway line. Turns and will spin it out to Raheem Sterling. Can we get a goal here? Another vital away goal. Gabby, no options here. And again, he's going to have to move it wide. But that's a good ball into Oxlade-Chamberlain. The ball inside to Jesus is a great one. Can he finish here? More stout defending from the Russian side. Maybe we should have had a second. Expansive stuff from Gabby, though, to move it out. Needing to use the width. The CSK are really packing that box with defenders. It's a good tackle in the end. Oh, Gabby, good opportunity here. He's put it wide. No. Oh, a massive let off there for CSK. I can't believe he's put that wide. Great movement to work the space. And it was a completely unmarked header. Oh, that's uh, that could be vital. We really, really wanted a second away goal just to make the second leg a lot easier. Well, they'll be pleased. At least they got an away goal. They go back to Manchester knowing that if they can keep things all square, then they will go through to the quarterfinals. But... There were definitely chances to be had throughout that game. Jesus missed quite a few, it has to be said. In the end, we had considerably more chances than they did, but we just couldn't put them away. Gabby gets man of the match, gets a seven. He had a couple of good chances as well. There's no denying that there's at least one that he should have taken, other than the one he actually scored. Uh, Otamendi badly caught out for that first goal, but Olinari, their centre forward, number 99, was was brutal. Let's have a look at him in Masterly, because he was uh, quite a talent by the looks of it. So there we go. Still more goals than appearances this season and a 6.8 average rating will do us nicely. We're only a gnat's hair away from uh, 84 finishing. Excited about that. We could do with another dramatic improvement. We would go into the stratosphere if we were to get one now. So only three days later and we've got, we're in maybe risk of some fatigue rotation here. No, we start. That's fine. We seem to be back in uh, Guardiola's plans pretty solidly now after a little bit of a blip. Now this has to be a win. On two games now without a win. That's too long. Let's take a look at the sides. Well, it's Gabby Guerrero back together. Gabby on a downward form arrow. And who's that? It's Theo Walcott. We have not played with him yet. That's exciting. A player close to my heart. Sane in now. You can see the rotation taking place, especially in those wing rolls. Uh, Gabby's not too tired. I suppose he's doing all right. Up against the Stoke City side, playing three at the back. I think we've struggled against Stoke. That is a difficult centre-back trio to deal with. A lot of strength, height. They're going to be physical. And they've got Chupa Moting playing up front. I mean, they've got some exciting players, haven't they? In theory. They're all the exciting players that maybe once were going to be exciting, like Hesse, like Afalai, who've never quite fulfilled their potential, even at Stoke. And obviously they've got the Welsh Xavi, Joe Allen, a man with a beautiful beard and beautiful hair. Let's get into it. So back at the Etihad and back with Aguero. It can only go one way today, surely, against Stoke City. It's got to be a convincing win. And it's got to be Gabby continuing to pad out his stats for that golden boot. No doubt about it. Long ball into Gabby and he finds a nice ball back to Gondo. And there's a sea of red in front of us. There is no space at all for us to work with. 
Gabby steps away from Joe Allen. Ball into Aguero. Wants it back. Receives it. Gabby now gets the shot in. What power behind that one. Forced the keeper to spill it wide. There's that link up with Aguero. He just knows what to do. His one-touch passing is so exact and so perfect. The ball in. He knew it was coming back. Gabby took it on the run. Got a good shot in. Forced the save. First corner here. Lot of big red and white shirted players in the box. Gabby making a run from deep. It's a great run. The header's there. Oh, God. It's just so difficult to mark. Timed that run perfectly. Simple. Ball into Gabby is on. Looks for the back heel into Aguero. Just about finds him. Aguero can't force his way out, but Shawcross makes a mistake. Gabby now. Cuts back in. Onto his right. The right foot finish is simple. Is gorgeous. And Ryan Shawcross will be head in hands. That's going to haunt his dreams tonight. Gabby nicks it back off him. He had no right to. Absolutely no right to. And step back inside calmly onto his weaker right foot and puts a goal up here. Shawcross caught in possession. Should have just put his foot through that. And then he's caught out again as Gabby turns back inside. And it's a simple right-footed finish. Gabby creates and scores that one. And we're up here at the Etihad. Much better. Great tracking back there, but hang on. Get, no, hang on. No way. Oh, my God. Miscommunication there of the year. Fernandinho had pretty much won that back. All it meant, all it needed was for company to step in, but he st stepped off. Allowing two promoting to get the shot in. That's Paul. Good work from Gabby there. Found the space. Gone Doan into Gabby again. Looks for the reverse ball into Walcott. Doesn't work, but that's fallen to him. Kindly Zuma with the big challenge and the big foul on the edge of the box. It's been an uneventful half, but if we can cap it off now with a second goal from this set-piece opportunity, I think it'll be have been a good one. And it's going to be Yaya Torre over this one. Or Gun Doan. Torre has scored from here this season. Oh, it's just off the wall. Right at the death here in this first half. They will have a corner. Gabby's made the run near post. Keeper will punch away. Is that going to be the end of the half? Or will we get another opportunity to put it into the box? We won't. But we've got to be happy with at least a goal today. Absolute possession dominance. And uh, Stoke City yet to have a shot. I think Guardiola will be pleased. But I think he'll know that we need to score an early goal in this second half. Just to calm things down. Because uh, Stoke could pop up with a goal at any point. And we just need to kill this game off as soon as possible. Short passing here from Stoke City. Looking a lot more confident. Shakiri with the ball over the top. Looking for Chuba Moting. It goes all the way through. Otamendi will go back to Edison. He puts a long ball. Looking for Gabby. He'll jump with Kurt Zuma. It's not exactly the matchup that we want in the air. And Stoke City predictably will come away with it now. Hesse under pressure. Gabby trying to close off the options. Forces Zuma to go long. And we'll cut that out easily. That's a mistake though. And it's fallen to Chuba Moting now. Inside to Ramadan. His shot comes in just wide. More mistakes at the back from Man City. We're looking a little leaky today. Aguero now. Gabby wants it short. Wants the link up again. Oh, keeps it in just about. Into Aguero now. Edge of the box to Fernandinho. Gondurin will get the shot in. Gabby's there for the rebound. Oh, it's off the bar. It did get a touch off a Stoke City player on the way through. Almost managed to snaffle us a second goal though with uh, some uh, good work. Always there, looking for the rebounds. He was first to it. Shawcross gets across. Gets a good touch on it. It's another corner here. Gabby lurking. He's been dangerous from these opportunities. He's got ahead of his man. The header comes in. Straight to the keeper. And then Allen can clear. Three big chances from corners for Gabby. That one was directly at the keeper, but still a good opportunity. Comes Aguero. Just Aguero and Gabby up front now. Nice reverse ball into Gabby. Can we find Aguero again? Gabby looks to step away from Joe Allen, but that's a great challenge. We're very, very tired here. 84 minutes. It does feel like Stoke could nick something here. Every time they have the ball, they're looking to come forward. Gabby is down and not getting up. That's not good. Oh, no, we're, we're still down. We're still down. Oh, we're up, we're up, we're up. 85 minutes gone. Gabby has been completely out of energy since about the 60th minute. Does well there, though, to link up. Aguero into Gabby. Oh, Erika Badu. Easy. Gabby keeps it moving. Just got to keep it tight here. Ball out to Walcott. Aguero now. Will he find Gabby in the centre? It's a great ball. Gabby with the header. Oh, my God. Could have sealed it there. Great work from Aguero. Aguero puts his hands to his head. And Gabby will know that he's had more than enough chances in this to score. 
More than the one that he's managed. That's that's very well wide there. It's a tired man. He's just got up from an injury. But still, should have put that one away. Lacazette, the substitute. We'll find Gabby now. Just red shirts ahead of him in the box. Steps back inside with the right foot. Oh, simple. Simple again. And although he's running on fumes, or the fumes of the fumes that he had earlier, nothing left in the tank but just enough to speed into the box, slip through by Lacazette, the substitute. And uh, and then you could see there the Stoke players also running in sand. Gabby steps back inside. Lovely footwork. Onto that right foot again. Very similar to the first goal. And uh, yeah, two goals. And finally, a win after three games without one. And uh, Gabby, more important goals in that golden boot race. Didn't look like he was going to get his second, but he left it late just to seal it there. And uh, an important three points as well. That's the main thing. Forget the golden boot, actually. It's a three points. And if anything less than three points would have been insane. Although it looked at the end like Stoke could nick something, but with 60% possession and Stoke not allowed a single shot. Uh, we've got to be pretty happy with this result. It's another seven, another man of the match. We keep them coming. We keep them coming. Another one. Another one. So we go 2-0. Lovely work. But still two points ahead of us are Chelsea. We don't play them anymore. So, you know, unless they slip up, they win the league. It's going to be a very, very tight finish. At least we have the chance to play United for that second place spot. But mm, Chelsea, they can they can take it from here. So national team squad announcement before the end. Gabby surely is a starter now. Well, we've been selected. That's no surprise. Gabby has been the uh, top scoring striker in the best league in the world. And with five goals ahead now of Harry Kane, maybe he's nailed on for that as well. And is he nailed on for a starting berth in the Brazil squad? I really hope so. And I'm really looking forward to his first uh, international tournament as a regular starter. Obviously, he played in that World Cup, didn't get many chances. But now I think they would really have to consider him as their top striker. Anyway, next episode, we've got the second leg against CSKA, which is still in the balance. An early goal from them could make that very tricky. And then we've got Leicester away, another game that we need to win. Let's remind ourselves how long we've got left. It's not that long. I mean, we've got United in the FA Cup. That's a huge game. A couple of friendlies we won't be playing. We've got a lot of games, actually. A lot of games left to play. No games against Chelsea, crucially. We've had our chance against them. So, uh, yeah, we've got to hope they slip up. That's all it comes down to now. Right, I'll see you in a bit.